Hello everyone, this is Eduardo Rodriguez from channel Retinado D. I hope you folks uh, have been enjoying these mini lectures for several topics of ophthalmology and retina. The topic of our conversation today is PVR. PVR is a feared complication after retinal detachment surgery. PVR, or proliferative vitreo retinopathy, is defined as an abnormal process that contracts on membranes or scar tissue in a simple way, form in the vitreous and on the surface of the retina, and result in traction, pulling the retina, and ultimately re-detachment of the retina. PVR is the most common cause of failure after surgery for retinal detachment repair. PVR occurs approximately in 5 to 10% of the cases of regmatogenous retinal detachment. It involves exposure of the retinal pigment epithelium, the RP cells, with breakdown of the blood ocular bar barrier, and then proliferation of other cells like fibroblasts and production of multiple cytokines that ultimately produce this scar tissue. It is key that ophthalmologists and retina specialists know the risk factors for PVR so they can be addressed. Patient-related risk factors for PVR are smoking, young age, young patients, history of trauma in the eye, and the length of the history, the duration of symptoms and of the retinal detachment itself, because PVR takes time to build. It is thought that people PVR or shows within four to six weeks. However, the process of PVR may occur immediately after retinal detachment initiation. So I told you a few patient-related risk factors. Now let's talk about the ocular risk factors or predisposing factors. They are large breaks, or giant retinal tears, excessive laser or cryotherapy, vitreous loss when you're doing the drainage of external drainage in sclerobuccal surgery, hypotony, or uveitis. Despite improvements in the technique and surgery, surgery of retinal detachment repair, the rates, the incidences of PVR remain fairly constant. The management of PVR involves removing as much vitreous as possible in the first surgery with a complete or almost complete PVD and cutting and aspirating the vitreous. Removal of epiretinal membranes and internal limiting membrane may add additional protection because remove the scaffold for the scar tissue that may build. The use of vital dyes like triancinolone for the vitreous or tripan blue or brilliant blue for ILM and epiretinal membranes may help. One clinical trial is addressing the use of methotrexate 0.8 percent after me for retinal detachment in the prevention or early treatment of PVR. There are 13 injections for 16 weeks and we hope to have those results soon. So we talked here a little bit about PVR, what it is, risk factors. I hope you enjoyed and I see you next video.